What's up, Gutter Gang? It's Blunt Gus. Today, I'm going to be telling you guys the story of how I got caught by the cops. Before I get any deeper into the video, I'd really appreciate if you guys go subscribe to my backup channel. I already have two strikes on this channel. If I get one more, I'm fucking out of here. So, I'll put the link down in the description. Go show some support. And I'll also put the Discord server link in the description. But yeah, let's get on to the video. I can't exactly remember where this took place, but I know that it took place somewhere around my 7th grade year. Definitely the early middle school days. Also, my bad if you guys hear like outside sounds and shit. I'm just chilling at the park, making some videos and shit, just chilling. Like, damn, I wish this fucking bird could shut the fuck up so I could get onto the story. So yeah, the story takes place early middle school days. And around this period of my life, I would skate a lot. Like at this time, I was never worried about making time for videos, self-improvement, exercise, all that shit. I was never really interested in that at that time. It was just skate and skate every fucking day. That's all I wanted to do. It's me and the three homies, and we just took the bus from the skate park all the way to fucking the city that I live in. So yeah, I was just waiting at the bus stop with my homies. I figured I'll just wait till their bus comes, and then I'll say peace out, and then I'll just fucking skate home. So while we're waiting for the bus, it's pretty dark outside. It's like 7 or 8 p.m. While we're waiting for this bus, we're just skating the parking lot next to the bus stop. In this parking lot, there was shopping carts and cones. God damn, these birds won't shut the fuck up, bro. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. You guys notice how these fucking birds don't sound like the cool bird noises anymore? Like the peaceful sounds, it's just annoying as shit. But yeah, there was carts and there was cones in the parking lot. And a normal person wouldn't think anything about that. But when you're a skater, oh, you can do fucking anything. I didn't mention this, but the three people that I was hanging out with who are also skaters are pretty fucking wild. Two of them are black around the same age as me. Both of them are cousins. And these two fools, bro, if you were to hang out with them, you are bound to fucking get in trouble or something or have to fucking run away from something. Because every time you're with these kids, they want to fuck with someone. They want to fucking steal. They want to do hella shit. And it's just like funny to them, right? This is the same kid who got a homeless guy to pull out a sword on us and we had to run away. I'll put the link for that video in the description. But yeah, these kids are wild. The other guy was just some chill fool. Doesn't really start anything. Doesn't really do anything. Just some white kid. But we're all homies. So let's just call the younger black kid. Let's just call him Little A. And his older cousin, which is like a year older than him. Let's just call him Big A. So me and little A had this bright idea to get carts and cones and put them in front of fucking traffic so we can watch the cars hit them. So me and little A, we get like two shopping carts and a cone and we put it in the fucking road. We're just sitting by the bus stop just watching some cars hit it and we're just dying laughing, right? And then all of a sudden one of the cars hits the fucking cart. The car stops and someone gets out of the car. Now, once we saw that car hit that fucking shopping cart, me and the homies, we were out of there, boys. We start, we ran straight through the fucking parking lot. In the parking lot, there's like little curbs. And fucking little A was running and he fucking tripped over the curb and ate shit. I was fucking running and dying of laughter bro. I could barely get enough fucking oxygen. But yeah, we ran for a bit and eventually, like, three minutes later, we went back to the bus stop to do it again. Now, once we get back to the bus stop, I was just looking across the street and I noticed that there was a big-ass roadblock sign. And to us, that meant two things, boys. That meant either fucking skate it or put it in the road and fucking close the road, bruh. So me and A are like, bet, let's get into some fucking mischief again. And me and little A were the only ones doing this shit. Fucking Big A and the other homie was just chilling. They were just on their phones type shit, right? But me and little A go across the street and we grab the sign. And it's, it's a pretty fucking heavy sign, bro. Like, we could barely lift it up. I'm like dragging slash carrying this sign. And while we're doing this, boys, I look across the fucking street, right? There was a fucking cop car right there. And as soon as I looked at it, the lights went on and it turned into the parking lot. Real shit, the cop pulled up. And when he gets out, he's like, he was like, I've been getting calls from people saying that little kids were throwing fucking carts and cones into the road. And he basically caught us red-handed, right? And he wanted us to explain ourselves. So basically, I just said that I was a skater. I showed him some skate clips. I said I was just going to use the sign to like make a ramp or something, right? But at this time, I wasn't very good talking to police. My voice would shake. And this time when I talked to police, bro, I would just straight up look at my phone and act like I was fucking texting or some shit. Three or four minutes after this cop car pulls up, he's just talking to us. He's just telling us to wait for backup. And I'm like, whoa, this guy's calling backup on us. What the fuck? This car that he pulled up in was just the little cop cars, right? Like three of the fucking suvs pulled up and i'm like bro what the fuck is going on dude am i about to get arrested well, there's four cop cars and they all park 
in a way that we're squared in right they all get out and they're just talking to us and little a is such a wild kid that all the cops recognize him and they're like yo what's up little a how you been bro and it actually happened to be chill as fuck with these cops guys like we were just showing them skate tricks little a was just laughing with them basically the cops just told us stay out of trouble and just to get home because it was getting late right and while we're like finishing it up with the cops little a's bus pulls up he's like yo i gotta go my fucking bus is here and he just ran across the street in traffic just to get to his bus that shit was pretty funny now the cops didn't really question us at all about what we were doing they just asked like one or two questions and the rest was just chilling talking about skating yeah everything ended up going fine if you made it this far i appreciate it very much hit that subscribe button the like button and i'm out peace